to do is show you how to solve um, this, uh, this system of equations by using substitution. So again, when we're thinking of substitution, what we're going to want to do is substitute something into another and something into something else, right? Well, what we have is we have two equations and we also have two variables. So what I'm going to want to do is when doing substitution, your main goal is to find the value for one of your variables first. And if you look at what I can do is I have my y's kind of isolated. There's no number in front. So I'm going to choose this y. It's going to be the easiest for me to solve for first. And I'm not going to be able to find the exact solution up there because I'm still going to have an x in there. But um, it's going to help me with getting the rest of the problem done. So your first step is always to find, when using substitution, which variable is uh, pretty much has a 1 as a coefficient or can most easily kind of be solved for. So I have 5x plus y equals 1. To solve for y, I subtract the 5x, and I get y equals a negative 5x plus 1. Okay, I just wrote the negative 5x in front of the 1. So now what I've done is I have solved for one of my variables. All right. So what I can do now is instead of putting a y into the second equation, I can do what y represents, which is y represents negative 5x plus 1. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I am going to substitute in the value of y of my first equation into the second equation. So I write 3x plus 2, not times y, but times a negative 5x plus 1. So if you look at this, I found the value of y, which is negative 5x plus 1 per the first equation. Then I take that value and I plug it in for y of the second equation. Now what I need to do is I need to do distributive property. So I have 3x minus 10x plus 2 equals 2. And now what I have is I have an equation with only my x values, right? So now I can find the value of x. I combine my like terms, which is a negative 7x. Um, plus 2 equals 2. So I subtract 2, I get negative 7x equals 0, x equals 0. So now that I found the value of x, what I can do is I can plug that back into either one of my equations. Now it's easiest to plug it into the equation you solve for y because it's already solved for y. So when I plug 0 in for x, back into that first equation, well negative 5 times 0 is 0, so y equals 1. Therefore, now what I have just done is I have found the value of y and the value of x and by using substitution. So that is going to be the intersection when we talk in graphing. That's going to be the intersection of these two graphs. And I can write it as a coordinate point of 0, 1 is the solution um, of these two graphs of the system.